hey guys welcome back to another video guys today is another bed bug video um i received a comment from two different people one was probably like a month ago and one was today that um the diatomaceous did not work for uh for, for them uh, mainly because they have asthma and they're they're having breathing problems, them and their children or child. Now, one thing I can say, diatomaceous earth work. That's without a shadow of a doubt. It works. But a lot of people put the powder down wrong. A lot of people just simply put too much powder down. I'm an asthmatic myself. I have asthma born and born with it and still have it, and so does my three sons. And when I first put it down, I put down a bunch. And it was a little irritating, but I left out the area. I left the area. I went to a ventilated area where I could breathe. I had the window open while I was applying the powder because I had already did my research. And I do um, let people know in my videos now, like that very first video that I created, which is what mo the one that mostly everybody is seeing, I didn't exactly tell how to put it down or anything. That was just basically my story. I was just telling my story about bed bugs and what I used to get rid of and what I did. In that video, I didn't know it was going to um, go viral and take off the way it is. So I didn't explain in that video how I put the powder down or anything. But I have since made a ton of videos. I have probably about 30 videos now that um, I've done on different subjects about um, bed bugs, about diatomaceous earth and different things that you can use, how to put the powder down and everything. So the powder does work, but if you put too much of the powder down, this is going to be anybody, whether you're an asthmatic or has respiratory issues or not, the powder is going to get into your lungs and it's going to be very irritating. In some cases, you might have to go to the ER if you breathe in too much of the dust. And that's just like regular house dust. If you're cleaning and you got a whole dusty filled room, and you're breathing in, it's gonna cause respiratory issues. So, but I do understand for those who may have put the powder down wrong and may have had these issues to not want to use it because now they feel like, you know, it's not helping them and they're, they're a little scared to put it down. So that's understandable. And um, the young lady also said that she used Crossfire. Now Crossfire does work, okay? Diatomaceous earth works. Crossfire work, alcohol work, and steam work. They all work. They all work. Now, if you don't need Crossfire, because Crossfire is a little expensive, so if you don't need it, then and I would just say, why buy it if you don't need it? Why use it if you don't need it? Now, I'm going to explain why I use the automation surf. I'm going to explain a little bit about Crossfire the steamer and alcohol. Okay, I just said quite a bit about Dr. Matrix Earth, but Dr. Matrix Earth also, it kills for a long period of time. Dr. Matrix Earth will kill for months and months and months. Long as the powder is down, it's not disturbed and it don't get wet, it will continue to kill. Not only bed bugs, but a lot of different other bugs. Okay, now Crossfire. Crossfire is an on-contact type of solution. It's a, it's a liquid that you have to mix with water. When, once you mix it, you have to use all of it because once it's mixed, it's only good for two hours. I mean, yeah, for two hours. After two hours, it's, no, it's not really effective anymore. And then after two hours, it, it kind of dries up. But even if you still have that solution, in the, in the jug or in the container, it said that after two hours, it's not as effective. It probably still work, but it probably won't be as effective. So if you're going to spend that kind of money on Crossfire, you want to know exactly where these bed bugs are. So you can spray that stuff right on them. You want to spray it right on them, right on where they're nesting so it can get in there and kill them. And it will kill them up to two hours. After two hours, it's dried and everything. And then... You have to reapply, but that means another bottle of Crossfire. Who I recommend Crossfire for are those with really big infestations. Like if you have a huge infestation that you got, they have nests different places in your house, like in different rooms, and 
It's a whole bunch of them. And yeah, crossfire would be a, a great thing for that. If you have a really tiny infestation, you don't really need crossfire. But if you feel more comfortable getting it, then by all means, get it. Alcohol. Alcohol is an on-contact killer. You have to spray the alcohol directly on the bugs if you want it to work. You can't spray alcohol all around your house and you don't know where the bugs are, you don't see no bug and then expect it to kill them. It's not going to, because if they don't get in the alcohol, it's not going to do anything for, to them. It's going to be dry and it's just not going to affect them. Alcohol burns them, so it kills them on contact. So if you see them and you spray alcohol on them, you'll see that they die right then and there. It said 90% alcohol. That's what I use. I use 90% alcohol and 70% alcohol because that's what I could find. You want to find the highest volume of alcohol that you can find. It's not to say that a lesser volume won't kill them, but it's just, you know, we just choose a higher volume. So if you can find 90%, it's even 90, 91%, 70%, 50%, whatever you can find, that's just what you have to use. But like I said, the higher the volume, the better. And alcohol, you have to spread directly on them. Don't go spray alcohol all through your house and thinking it's going to kill bed bugs and you don't even know if they're there because it's not going to work. You spray them on them only if you know right they're there and you see them. Like me, for instance, I just had, I have drawn a habit, uh, draw, drew a habit of spraying my bed with alcohol. I spray my bed with alcohol every time I change my linen. You know, I just like the that freshness of it, the feel, just to feel like it, it's sanitized. So when I change my sheets, my linen, I spray alcohol all over my mattress and all around of the uh, that lining of the bed. I do it every time I change my linen. And also a steamer. A steamer is a really good thing to use because if you know where these bed bugs are hiding and they're hiding up into somewhere where you can't really get up in there and get them like up in your box spring or maybe something up your bed frame or something like that, just like with the crossfire, you can use the steam. Now, whatever you use, if you know exactly where they're hiding, where, whatever you use and you spray it, they're going to come running out. That's only natural. They're going to come running out. But if you're using hot steam, that hot steam is more than likely going to kill them to the point where none of them might not escape. Probably none of them. If you're, you know, if you're actually getting into the right area. So what I would say is if you have a really big infestation, you probably need all of it. You probably need diatomaceous earth. You probably need um, crossfire. You probably need steam and alcohol. If you have a very, very small infestation, alcohol is just something normally you keep on hand anyway. So if you see them and you, you see them right there and there and they're trying to run or something to that effect, you can spray them with alcohol. You can spray them with alcohol. Diatomaceous earth, you just need to keep it down. Now, as far as your carpets, you can shampoo your carpets. You can clean up these areas. Once everything dries out, if you feel comfortable, and I wouldn't spray alcohol all over the place. Like, I wouldn't spray it all in my rugs and things like that. Alcohol is a flammable. It is, it is flammable. Flammable, flammable. And I just wouldn't spray it in my carpet. Now, I do put it on my bed. And then if I see, when I saw them on the walls or things like that, yeah, I would do that. But I, I wouldn't recommend just spraying it in your carpet. If you have to spray something in your carpet and you know they there, I would say Dr. Mesha Sir. I wouldn't even say Crossfire because you can't see them. So you don't know if they, you're killing them or not. But you do know if that powder down and it's left alone, regardless of whether you see them or not, if they go through that area, they're going to get caught. And they're going to die because they're going to go through that powder. So it, 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 it's like a two each its own type of situation. If you feel like you want to use diatomaceous earth, if you feel like you want to use crossfire, if you feel like you want to use alcohol, if you feel like you want to use steam, all of them work. All of those methods work. They all work. So again, my recommendation is diatomaceous earth and alcohol and the steamer. Um, only crossfire when you have a really, really big infestation, yes. I would definitely say you need to treat with crossfire. If it's something small um, and you just want to spray some alcohol on your bed or something or you um, want to steam everything up front, 
That is absolutely totally fine. You can steam like twice a week, once a week, every day. You can do it however you want. But once you put the dye to make this earth down to just keep it going, keep it moving, just don't let it get disturbed and don't let it get wet. Um, I hope that answer questions to some who just a little bit confused about what to buy, what to use, and some of you that may just go out and spend all this money on stuff and just really don't know or have any type of direction. I mean, you can always put a, you know, put a comment down in the comment section if you have questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So um, I'll see you guys on the next one.